First off in target number one, representing Korea, Ng Dong Hyung of Korea will be shooting for the bronze medal. World ranking of number three overall and a potential to win the bronze medal, but he is in tough exactly as he faces from the United States of America. He is shooting on target number two. Brady Allison from the United States just fell short in the semifinals. He moved his way up and, and fought back, but lost in a very tough tie-breaking era where both of them were, were dead center for the most part. And, and we're talking maybe less than millimeters away, but, but nonetheless, uh, in this sport, in the precision of archery, that's all it takes to win, but it is, it is measured that closely. And now we see Brady Allison of the United States wanting to win a bronze medal here at these world championships. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Im Dong Hyun on target number one will be shooting first. We've seen these two archers go head to head before with variable results. Im Dong Hyun has won before and Brady Ellison has won as well. So it's still anybody's game, no real particular favorite when these two archers are shooting together. That's a great opening from Im Dong Hyun. That's a 10 from Brady as well. Tied score. Nine. So a little bit to the right, both of his arrows on the right side of the target. Nine. Three with a nine, still tied. Deadlocked at 19. The two archers have matched each other's arrows early in this bronze medal matchup. Oh, Im won't be happy with that last arrow and eight out to the right. Opens the door a little bit here for Brady Allison to take this first set. For sure. And there it is. Does just that with a 10. 29 out of the possible 30 points. More importantly, a two set lead early in this bronze medal matchup. But I have seen Im Dong Hyun come back from set point deficits Brady before, but Brady is also another, one of the toughest competitors out on the field, not just because of his physical strength, but, but because of his mental stability and his mental strength on the shooting line to be able to just tell himself, you know what, this arrow is gonna be in the 10, and it does do that, it goes into the 10 ring. Officially, it goes down as a 29-27 point win in that first set. Two set points to zero in favor of Brady Allison of the United States. And we are underway momentarily. Set number two. Once again, it's the first archer to reach six set points. Im Dong Hyun to shoot first on target number one. Ten. Good shot, that's a 10. Still on the right side of the target, but nonetheless in the center. Ten, Ten for Brady. Ten he's found the center and I bet he's gonna stay there. He has a reputation of doing that sometimes. Eight. Nope. Dong Hyun has something wrong going off to the right, and his coach is probably a little concerned as well. Uncharacteristic, just popping arrows out right. Opens the door for Brady. Ten. There it is, another 10. Takes full advantage of that. He has a two point lead with the final arrows of both of these athletes coming up. Ten. That's another 10. 10 points. A nine on this arrow will give Brady the set points that he wants. There it is. It does just that. 29, 28. 
is how he wins his second set. And uh, Crispin in control right now, up four set points to zero. And uh, the Korean now has to be thinking comeback and uh, has to be thinking, you know, I have to get myself back in this contest because uh, if he drops this one, this, uh, this has been a very, very fast bronze medal matchup. Hmm. You don't want to go down as quickly as uh, well as quickly as possible, but uh, like like I've said before, Im Dong Hyun is a strong competitor. He's a strong fighter, and he will fight back from uh, a four nothing deficit. However, Brady, being a strong archer that he is, has a potential of maintaining that lead that he's already amassed. So, potentially anyone's game, but unfortunately, right now for Im, it's in favor of Brady. Im Dong Hyun shooting first on target number one. He trails Brady Ellison 4 0. This is match. Potential match set for Brady in shooting first. Nine. Nine. Still on the right hand side of the target. Long shot for Brady. It's a nine. It's outside of the line. We can see. Definitely that looks like there's a little bit of yellow between the black line there. That's right. That's definitely a nine. <laughs> I really wish Im would move his sight. Seems to like that right side of the target, Crispin. He is uh, really favoring it, yeah. So Brady answers back with a ten. Again, once he's found that ten, he can really put it in there. Unofficially up 19-18. Uh, awesome group, just wrong spot. I mean, if he was over about 10 centimeters, he would have a perfect triple X. Brady's last shot for the bronze medal. 10 points, and Brady takes it. Brady Ellison of the United States of America will win the bronze medal here with a decisive three set, uh, make that six set to zero lead and, and win as he hugs his head coach and celebrates to the crowd and salutes it. Fantastic uh, bounce back performance from his semifinal loss to take the bronze medal here. And he poses for some pictures and uh, at the end of the day, a uh, bronze medal here at the 2011 World Archery Championships. It's uh, maybe not the color of medal he's used to, but uh, nonetheless, uh, with, the medal. with the kind of competition he's uh, up against, it's uh, just a fantastic accomplishment to medal in this event. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, Brady's mom. Undoubtedly excited that her son has just won the bronze medal at the world. Before that, there's the U.S. Nationals, which take place in about a week and a half. Six sets to zero win as we take a look at the sight lines here in downtown Torino, Italy.